Hey guys, it's me, um, Ms. Denny, and huh, is this recording? Well, we'll see. Um, I just wanted to go over some of the features of the AP exam that you will be taking at home now. Um, I'll tell you when, well, May 15th um, is when you are going to take it and 11 a.m. I'll go over that again later. But first of all, um, you are just gonna have one free response question. And as you can see, it's gonna be 45 minutes long with another five minutes to upload your exam. <coughs> God bless me, sorry. Um, I'll wash my hands after guys, but can't cut the video. Uh, students will need to access online test system 30 minutes early to get set up. So if our exam's at 11, you're getting on there at 10.30 or even before, just better safe than sorry. Uh, you can take the exam on any device that you have access to. So computer, tablet, or smartphone, okay? You can type your responses or write them by hand and submit a photo from your cell phone, okay? Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Let's see, there's also, uh, taking the exam. This is also an open note exam. I don't know why, oh, there it is. So this is like a college level exam. You are allowed to use your notes. So similarly with this, you, this AP exam is open notes. So we got to talk about either preparing your notes or possibly let me talk to Ms. Sohn and uh, Mr. Nielsen about getting your binders if you think that would be helpful. I don't know, I can't promise that since we aren't really supposed to leave our houses, uh, but this this is when those notes will be help helpful. So just know you can use your textbook, your review book, any notes that you have to help you with the exam. You cannot plagiarize though. Um, they will be, uh, they, they will have plagiarism um, like, software to double check that you're not plagiarizing during the test. Okay. Um, so, excuse me. Let's see. Let me remove my little face. All right. Uh, as you can see, U.S. History is going to be Friday, May 15th. Okay. At 11 a.m. You're going to take this at home. Um, it will be online. Let's see exactly, here we are at AP US History. Um, you will have 45 minutes to respond to question one. Question one, 45 minutes. It's a modified DBQ, meaning instead of seven sources, remember the DBQ you did last semester um, with unit one with the uh, different views about the American Revolution. Well, you had seven sources that you were supposed to reference. This one's gonna be five. And one is going to be a non-text-based source. So it's going to be either a picture of an artifact, a political cartoon, a photo, things like that. Uh, here are also some of the requirements of your, your essay. You have to have a historically defensible thesis. Okay, we've been working on thesis. I have confidence you guys will be able to do that. Describe a broader historical context relevant to the prompt. Contextualization explaining all what was happening before leading up to that point in American history. Um, supporting an argument using at least four of the documents, okay? You have to use four of the documents to support your argument. And then at least two additional pieces of historical evidence beyond the documents relevant to the prompt. Um, okay, we can do this. We can totally do this. And we're gonna practice analyzing documents this week. Uh, with your spring break assignments. So for at least two documents, explain how or why the document's point of view, purpose, historical situation, or audience is relevant to the document, or the argument. Point of view, purpose, historical situation, audience. That is soaps, soapstone, slash hippo. Those two things that you learned. Hopefully you have your um, interactive notebook to review what that is, but you can also look that up online. Hippo, soapstone, explaining at least one of these um, elements of hippo or soapstone 
uh, within the document. And then using evidence to corroborate, which means prove with evidence, qualify or modify an argument that addresses the prompt. So corroborate means prove with evidence. Qualify um, is like also uh, to, to prove with uh, like a specific, uh, I'm pretty sure that's like to, to prove with a specific evidence. Yeah, qualify argument, let's double check. Okay, that means, so you agree to some some limit, so you might bring out up outside evidence that you're saying, this is mostly true, but given this other information, um, you know, it could be interpreted um, as this, this, and this, okay. And then to modify is to kind of challenge that argument. Let's see, to modify is to kind of, challenge that argument by bringing in other evidence. Okay. Um, ooh, the prompt may be derived from any of the units three through seven. Okay, good to know, three through seven. So that's gonna affect your homework over this, this break. Three through seven, okay. So you guys need to really study up on that. Okay. Three through seven. You may choose, but do not need to provide content knowledge from units one or two for context. Okay, that's in your contextualization, that first paragraph. You might want to bring up stuff from unit one and two, but you don't need to. This will not include units one and two. Okay, and then if you make, if you miss the, the test, you can make it up on June 3rd. But you guys, let's just get it done, okay? I'm so confident you can do this. We're gonna work really hard the next couple weeks, next month, um, and it's gonna be awesome, okay? So if you have any questions about this, um, let me know, all right? And take, make sure you're looking at um, our slides. I'm about to change this slide to just focus on units three through seven for the next week. We still have to wrap up the second part of unit seven, and I think we need to review unit six too. Um, we need to review all of them, but special focus on the last couple ones that we had um, during this this crisis. Okay. All right. Um, once again, let me know if you have any questions, and we got this. I'm excited. Okay. How do I pause? Done.